Good morning, welcome to a random vlog I thought I would film because vlogging is fun. So it is Thursday and I'm about to head off to my gym session. Let's go. Livy to go for a walk and I'm, I just tried on this new puffer that I got. Oh, the lines of the this lighting ain't it. I just tried on this new puffer and I got it because I wanted to get an oversized one for work because I've been wearing it over my work hoodie and I love it. So I got like a two sizes too big and it's kind of like oh, such a vibe. So I can't wait to wear this at work tonight because I've been wearing my work hoodie with a puffer over it like every day at work. I was like, you know what? This is a good investment to make and I'm vibing. I literally just got this online from Kettle and Pup. I did not sponsor it, I just Googled black puffer jacket and found one that I liked and got it. So it's got these pockets. I am going to meet Livy. We're gonna go for a walk along the river in our local neighborhood since we are kind of neighbors. We're in like neighboring suburbs. I got back from the gym and had like just under an hour. So I smashed out as much studying as studying. Wow, I'm really on like um, automatic. No, no, no studying. It is uni break. I smashed out as much editing as I could. It's the discipline vlog that I'm editing. So that's why I said studying because it's in my head. But anyway, I gotta go, so. such a nice catch up. Me and Livy always have the best chats. Okay, I'm literally sweating so much from the sun and this puffer, it's so amazing, but like I'm high key sweating. Um, and I didn't wear like a t-shirt under. We always have the best chats and we like, one time we did a walk in lockdown for like two and a half hours and it felt like 10 minutes. It's a little bit ridiculous. My hammy is like really niggly though. So I'm a little bit worried. It's been niggly for a couple of days and I've gotten through my training sessions, but I've been a bit like Mm, at training so I just gotta like, I really don't want to miss any sessions and but I don't want to get worse so I just have to like just play it by ear and stay on top of it but anyway I we could have literally walked for another hour but I gotta go because I have a laser appointment before work tonight which I okay look I'm sorry I need to I'm gonna be late but I need to show you so okay so my legs I've been getting half legs I've literally had two treatments so far for laser and there's literally already no hair. Like I had to, you have to shave it the night before. There was nothing to shave. Like from two freaking treatments. So I remember, cause I wanted to get laser ever since I was like maybe 12 and knew what it was. But I used to think when I was a kid, I thought you go get like it lasered off and that's it. Then when I was 18, so in year 12, as soon as I like finished school and got a job, I started getting laser. Um, cause obviously my parents weren't going to pay for me to get my hair removed. So I started getting Brazilian and underarm, which I started in 2017. And now I only have to go like once a year to top up. I literally just don't get hair there. You just get like a few wispy bits after like months and months and months of like not shaving. Um, yeah. So I thought you just go once. And then I found out that you have to go for the first 10 treatments every four weeks. So that's 10 times. And then after that, you just spread it out. And like the more you've done it, the less you have to go cause the hair just doesn't grow back. So now that I've been doing Brazilian and underarm for years, I just go like once or twice a year. 
um, but legs because I've just started it. I have to do my every four weeks, but literally, I don't remember Brazilian and underarm being so effective so quickly. Like three, this two treatments. I've had two treatments, and like in four weeks, didn't grow hair. Like what? It's so good. Highly rate getting laser. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna go do now. Do you have teriyaki salmon with brown rice? Okay, can I just get a teriyaki salmon, please? There is a life I lead in this city. Hurrying to cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. I got myself a random bar from Coles, one of the Keep It Cleaner bars to try. It's a double choc protein slice. I wanted a little snack before work. Oh, okay. It's giving me like primary school lunchbox recess vibes. Oh, the light went green. We love some school traffic. It looks like a, um, it literally is giving me primary school lunchbox vibes. It's not bad. I'm as dry as fuck. Sorry, this lighting ain't in it. I'm gonna have to scald that entire sparkling water. It looks a lot better than it is, like. Oh well. So, heading to work. I'll be there till about 7.30 tonight. Somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the afterglow, will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on. Put me together, take me back where I've been. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew. I am about to head back to the gym at work, back to work to do my own cross training session. I got home early afternoon and then I spent a couple of hours working on the ebook that I'm hoping will be released before this vlog is out. Um, so go check that out. It's just going to be, I think, I'm going to make it between 10 and 12 dollars i've been working on it for ages it's an ab ebook and it's between literally just a whole series of ab exercises between five and 20 minutes long oh damn it the light okay i'm back in the red light what was i even saying before i don't even know but oh yeah the ab ebook um there's 27 different workouts they're all between five and 20 minutes long please purchase that and let me know your thoughts if you do and the light is green Anyway, so I worked on that, edited that for a couple of hours, and then I did a little bit of editing. Now, I usually would be heading out to training. So usual Friday Arvo sessions is like a quite a long session because I do like two sessions. I do hurdles um, and then speed. So I'm really sad to miss it, and I really didn't want to, especially because like training's been going so well lately. If you saw my um, that day in the life vlog a couple of weeks ago where I saw my dietitian and she like checked my weight and stuff and I was really happy that it had gone up what I said in that vlog about like training being so going really well lately is true like every training session lately I feel like a proper athlete again I hate missing training but my hammy's just been so niggly the last couple of days and I've still trained every day but been a bit like oh my hammy and I even had a hammy cramp on Wednesday at training but it was the other hammy like after our last rep, I got so much lactic in that session. So it was also like 11 degrees at night. My hammy fully like cramped up and I never had a hammy cramp before. Like I'd ha I've had calf cramps and foot cramps. Like I get pinky toe cramps, but never a hammy cramp. Yeah, my hammy's just been a little bit niggly and I've been texting my coach today and she said, 
if you're if you want to play it safe and you're a bit worried just cross train instead so she told me to cross train so i'm gonna go back to my own gym and just do like my own like cardio cross training workout just to get like conditioning it's not going to be specific to running but oh well that is what i'm doing now Conrad's first time in here to be with us because we like steam it up. No, it let's do that. Like, oh, can we put a little bit on? Because I literally won't start sweating at all. Wait, you guys, you guys stay here for thirty minutes straight. Yeah, we gotta get out at five thirty-five. Okay. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get away! <laughs> Came down from behind me. <laughs> Sorry, I love that reaction. That's why I didn't tell you what was gonna happen. Oh, you oh. it snuck up behind me and it attacked me. It's like you're coming up. Oh, jewelry <laughs> layer. Oh, fuck. It burns your skin. I need to respond to a message. I think we should get that um, lavender. There that is. That video was so cool. Yeah, I don't know the real. Can I need to ask you guys' opinions though. Help me! I've never felt this horrible in the sauna before. I think I might die. Wow, that's not going on YouTube. That's disgusting. That's so ugly. <laughs> I swear the sweat evaporates as soon as you walk out into the cold. That was fuck. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. How cute and awkward are my parents? <laughs> anyway, that was Friday, and then here's a voiceover for the rest of the vlog. Welcome to Saturday. So I had an early start because I have run club that I run at my gym on Saturday mornings. It was cold, so I warm up my clothes on the heater, and I put on some Voltar into my poor little hammy ham. A little bit of update on the hammy me editing this is exactly a week later hammy's been okay but i've had turf toe and my feet have been in so much pain if you've been following my instagram i've kind of been in a boot for a few days this week anyway the sunrise was really pretty and the moon was still out and it was like a little crescent moon and it was like really cute so love that the drive was like really pretty and peaceful and my petrol tank was on freaking empty which was like so rude of it like seriously i filled up the other day and luke was making a barbie for the members today trying to make a nice little saturday morning I drew out a map for the run club today because love that got them to do some leg swings and I really was avoiding to run too much today but I did have to jog a little bit to show the loop obviously because my hammy was a bit niggly and the hammy was actually okay but on this run I'm pretty sure is when I like did my freaking turf toe in if you don't know what that is I'm not bothered to explain so just google it but basically I've been in a lot of pain the last week and just been cross training and try not to catastrophize and sometimes when I'm stressed out about being injured and stuff because my injury is obviously a really tough time I get angry and cross train but I also think this is times when you have to remember we're on a flying rock in space so try not to sweat the small stuff even though injuries aren't always small but whatever anyway so I got home at around 8 30 and then I edited for so freaking long oh, I have to stop with the pace sign I just spent the last three hours Three hours and ten minutes to be precise. No, three hours and twenty minutes to be precise. I'm finishing the vlog. Oh, I'm so tired now. Um, I'm just lying on the floor next to my heater. I do have my dressing gown over me because I'm cold. But yeah, I just finished editing the discipline vlog. It took me, well, I've been editing it for a few days, but I just smashed the, out the rest of it. So now I'm done. My knee really hurts. I mean, my hammy. My knee hammy. It's kind of like the tendon connection to my knee. Uh, it really hurts. I'm really sad and I really want to train tomorrow. Dad had a knee brace, so I've popped it on. My hammy is not feeling good though. Just gonna volta on it up and then try and not do too much straining today. 
Me and mum have to go for a walk though because we have another open house, which I'm sad about. Okay, so long story, but I will fill you in another vlog. My parents are moving out, um, which means like I'm also moving out. They're selling our house because they have bought another house and they're downsizing. And I'm really sad because this is my childhood home and I love it very much and I love where we live. And I was hoping not to move out before um, I finish uni. So I was going to go with them, but plans have changed and I'm actually moving out and just stay tuned for that. So new chapters, new beginnings, cool. My knee is so aggravated right now. I mean, not my knee. It's like where my knee and hammy connect. I hate what's wrong with me. I think it's like, I thought it was strained a few days ago. So I was hoping to be just like extra cautious at training and just not do anything that causes pain, be careful. Um, to not cause it to become a tear, but it's still so sore and I thought it'd be fine by now. <sighs> I don't know if I've mentioned it in a vlog yet, but yeah, my parents um, bought a house in a moving and we're selling our house and I'm really sad about it. I'm planning on moving out after I finish uni, so I will move with them for a little bit. So remember how open house ended so we came home? Well, these people randomly came after the open house had ended, like this old couple, and they... Hello. <laughs> yeah, they kind of just like walked into my room and like stared at me vlogging and I was just like, fuck. <laughs> um, we've got a few minutes because it's going to the next one, but... And then I was kind of just like trapped in there for a little bit while they were just like there. So random. Like, please leave. What kind of a budget are they working with? So, you know how I got myself these cute little silver collective earrings when I finished my exams the other day? Well, I kind of got an email literally like two days later saying, okay, no, it wasn't two days later. It was one whole week later. It was a week later from the silver collective saying they're having a store-wide sale. So I was like, damn, I would have waited to buy this, but I didn't. And instead, I'm going to buy another pair. Look, this is a present from me to me. And honestly, the last four months of uni until uni break, I didn't buy myself one single thing. You know how last year I was doing that not buying more than 20 items? Was it last year? I think it was last year. For the whole year. I basically am going to have done that this year because I've pretty much not got myself anything because I don't really need anything. But anyway, um, why am I justifying the fact that I never buy stuff to buy stuff? I bought myself another pair of earrings, which I wanted to do anyway because all my earrings were like tarnished. Um, but I got myself another pair because I was planning on waiting for my birthday, but then I was like, I'm just going to get it while it's on sale. Oh, I love how they're huggies. Huggies are my favorite because they're kind of like sleepers, but easy to put in and stay in. But yeah, it was 25% off store wide. What's what? Oh, I, I looked at the label, some cacao powder. Oh, look how cute they are together. Hang on, I need to do it on my good ear because my freaking bump on this ear from taking out my other earring. This was my favorite earring that became a lump. So sad. Cute. From me to me. <laughs> I wonder what people you heard overheard Chance saying that about coming back for. So that Arvo, I went to the movies with my mum and dad because they had some diamond discovers to use up and we went to see Elvis. Now let me tell you, I my life has changed. I am in love. I am in love. Austin Butler is Elvis. Hot fucking damn. Don't go with your parents. I was like, boy. Yeah, I'm speechless. So I'm, yeah, wow, like, wow, so hot. Anyway, um, literally everyone in the cinema was like over 65, except like me, like one other girl, but it was amazing. What? <laughs> that was so good. Anyway, so I was a little bit sad because my hammy was hurting. So here's just me snapping my friends after the movie to end this vlog.
Anyway, as always, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Buy my ebook, the link is in the description box below, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!